What's up guys, like, I'm back to my first video. Today we're going to do something different. No, I'm not reacting to music or comedy or something. But this is something I want to give you guys a reaction. I've, I've heard about, I've seen some videos about how Screen Ramp decided it was a smart fucking idea to not, to like, within the hour of his announcement of Chad Bozeman's death, to post an article about can Black Panther still happen? Can Black Panther 2 still happen? Can Marvel's options, Marvel's options without Chadwick Bowman, like, you ever been with somebody that just can't seem to read a room, despite the obvious situation and everything that's going on, sorry if you guys hear that's my cat, but they just can't seem to read a room, so, sorry guys, you hear something in the background, that's my cats right there, they're kind of playing, but, for them to post this, not thinking about how his family feel, how the fans would feel like this is only within the hour of his death. Do you understand me? I didn't find out about his death till like almost 12 o'clock at night. So my mom told me about what happened. You know, so the fact that even when the hour they got earlier than me, and they're like, well, we're gonna print this article. Like, to print the article so fast, though, bro. Come on. Like, that. It frustrates me because it's, it's like they don't care. It's like they didn't care about the fans. They didn't care about Chadwick Bowman's death. They didn't care about any of that. And they were like, well, let's just write an article. So, right here. So, it said, like, within the hour of screenwriter's death, they both was the hour of, they, they published an article called Kim Blackburn 2. So, it happened within the hour of Chadwick Bowman's death. And we're going to look at this uh, article right here by uh, Bonnie, Com Bonnie in Comics com. So you follow the track of a child and have a check of Bowman. I'll see figure out about what to do with Black Panther 2. Here are some options. So I got, the article is putting me, the article, the article publicates in me, spike waves of outrage across Twitter, because of course, fans pro proceed to protest to roast the cultural news outlet for the unbelievable tone, tone deafness. Dude, Dr. Cupcakes, I cannot believe the article was posted now with death being that like It's crazy, bro. Who was that fast? Like, who was that fast, bro? Like, I don't understand. Like, why? 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 Who? Who in the higher up said, well, shit, we got to get this out right now. Fuck, we got to catch him on the hurt. <laughs> it's like, it, it's like, it's like, you know, ever seen the movies, like, the victims crying over their, over the, uh, over whoever just got killed or died. And the poor just runs up like, hey, look, I, can I, can I, can I get a note? Can I get a can I can I can I can I hear your thoughts? What do you think about the victims? <laughs> it's like, bro, seriously, it's it's just crazy. Like, look here, the, uh, Dark Blake <laughs> Blaze R four fourteen said, "Astounds how people, how astounds how what's astounds how those pe how those people hurt, sad, and grieve, and screw is already focusing on this. Like, it's just ridiculous. Like, they didn't care about." what the fans were going to think. They didn't care about like, oh my god, what could potentially be the backlash of me doing something stupid like this. You know what I'm saying? Like it it's fucking crazy. And then it says like <laughs> you discuss the bit of shit. This isn't poor right now stated needless needless real deal. I was a needless real deal. You know and I agree. Apparently after hours of the Harvey said new child point and passing this is what movie Movie, uh, movie copper and screenwriter are more concerned about you discussing pieces of shit. This is my problem. No, it's not completely agree. It's not. It's not. It's just them trying to get clout. Trying to get clout off his death, which is uh, like unacceptable in my eyes. Like this shouldn't even. This this should not have been the argument that should have been brought up like moments after his passing. It's just I'm just. It just said I'm sorry for anybody like who who doesn't agree. I don't know who didn't. If you don't, you're 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 stupid. I'm gonna with you, but like. They said, like, as the backlash mountain against them, screaming, remove the article and apologize for the reason staying. This should not have happened, and it has been removed. We are sorry. Oh, wow. The worthless ass apology. Following tries to loss of Bozeman, a argument went up on screen overnight that, well, intention, what that was well intended, but was not respectful to the trauma heartbreaking we offer in this moment. This should not happen. It has been removed. We are sorry. See, like, 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 any, everybody else could read the room. Except for the dumbasses that kept saying, oh my god, what's going to happen to Black Panther 2? What's going to happen to Black Panther 2? Like, don't worry about Black 2 right now, okay? Black 2 is like a year and two away. Like, like, don't worry about it right now. This man passed here and now. Is that right? My sister's over there. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And she said, yeah, like, that was stupid. Like, why would you do that? 
Like, why would you focus on that? Like, it, it, it just like it, it blows my mind that they're supposed to be such a credit, get, a, a credit news article, all these resources and stuff, and you tell me nobody said maybe this isn't a smart idea to post this within the hour of his death. His body probably wasn't even cold yet, and they were like, "Well, fuck it, let's let's just we gotta get on the news fast." Like, come on, bro, come on, you couldn't put an article better than this, bro. I said, as of writing, all links to the are going to react to the screenwriter's original announcement of the Bozeman Post. Screenwriter, uh, screenwriter writer Cooper Hood has apologized for sending the decision to the author and published the article telling his Twitter audience, we are sorry for any role. I am sorry for any role. I am involuntarily playing in the cause of more prayer and time. We were also trying to figure out how to process. Shut up, Cooper. Shut up. There's some of his tweets. Cooper's, I woke up this morning, flood tweets and Dean's response to the article. Woke up last night. Well, I wrote about last night about... Marvel's options with Black Panther 2 following the sudden death of Bozeman. You should have done. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you probably got a couple of death threats in there, too. <laughs> like, come on, dude. Come on. Cooper. Pooper. Like, come on. Pooper Scooper. Like, <laughs> like come on, man. Like, you, you, you can't be smart in that. Even though I feel the article was written in a respectful way, it wasn't. I understand the backlash. <laughs> oh, some deaths already been done. The article has been taken out. Wow. Oh, my God. Let me cry. So I and Roy and replaced, so causing more pain at the time. So more pain at the time. We were all suffering out of the process we were before. Okay, whatever, dude. Cooper has announced that he will also make a donation to the Colden Cancer Fund in Bozeman and try to help prevent any tragedy like this from ever happen, happening through early detection and hopefully find a cure. Bullshit, bro. Bullshit. He's only doing this because he faced backlash. If he didn't face any backlash and he never put an article, I, I, I guarantee he wouldn't be doing that. He wouldn't have done that. More importantly, I'm making a donation to Colden Cancer Fund in Bozeman and try to help imprint. For trades like this one happening through early texting, hopefully find a cure. I I agree, you should do that. Like, but like it's not the most terrible there, but it just makes me mad because like like wow, like you can't read a room, you can't read a situation to think maybe I shouldn't post this article, Cooper. Come on, man. I like you're insulting Cooper so I hear you guys Cooper slide of video game care to try and throw in some comment here, but it. It it just it just frustrates me to like oh hold on up because I can't believe like this 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 was a thought that we had this was a thought like wow like when he told the people at the top of the screen where he was like this is what I'm going to post like he had to have told somebody was going to post they had to have give this the okay so for them to give this okay and I think is retarded it's stupid to me my sister agrees over here she, you can't see her but she's nodding her head but it 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 just it just it just upsets me because I can't like think like why. Why would you think that? Like you, you don't have any smarter ability to think like think like maybe maybe we should say something more appropriate, like write about the past and write about argue about the movies that he did about his career instead of doing that. Like it just uh, it just blows me. But he's not the worst. He is, this is not the worst ever, like on these of all time. Because there are some more terrible stuff we're about to get into. Like this right here, Jordan's used to pass their Using the uses the passing of black a black man actor Chad Bone to promote vice president candidate Kamala Harris. <sighs> like 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 come on. Look look at this. Look at this. Why? It's like like it's really it's, it's things like this just make me kinda of look sad the way human beings are. Like we're so 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 greedy that we're just quick to jump on and use somebody's death for our own needs. Look at this. Like, half of the have drawn attention to Black Panther and 5, Blood, 5D Blood Star. Chad Bull in the last tweet before he tried to pass the scene they're doing is an attempt to promote the candidate of uh, the president of Democrat Vice President candidate Kamai Harris. Stupid ass people. Just stupid. Just stupid. On Locks Lamb following the announcement of, of her nomination as the running mate for Democratic President uh, Excuse me, guys. Canada Joe Biden, like, F Joe Biden. I don't like him anyway. Like, that whole thing he did with Cardi B was stupid. Like, posted a photo of himself alongside the caption that nigga read, Yes, come out of Harris. And I saw the tweet. Yeah, he did say that. But it isn't what it's about. This is, this is, like, he's dead now. This is what this is about. <laughs> now, I've heard she does some pretty questionable things herself. So it's like, I, I don't know. Like, but, like it, politics is such a dirty game. I don't care who you are, how nice you go for so If you're in the politics, you've done something. Like, that's just that much of a dirty game. All right, guys. In the wake of Batman's untimely past, the various American journalists seized opportunity to promote the Biden Harris campaign. They also made the point in the that Boa's last tweet before his death, they drew attention to the photo, including 
Embassy's last last uh, the last word senior producer Kyle Griffin. Kyle Griffin. Should I both final tweets? Fuck you, Kyle. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry. This was a tweet, like bro, like ah, this was his last tweet. By saying the whole thing, the league, Jack Tabor said, we were saying this is his last tweet. Like, stop it. Like, and now, and now the league tweets, new members that were both contribute to. You saw Aaron also made a point to to echo his co- his colleagues. I'm trying to say. <sighs> Man, this is frustrating, guys. This is frustrating to read. While well, many were outraged and upset, the talentless use of Bozeman's passing as a political tool, the statement among fans were sung by Twitter posts, the arts man. I was say, if you use it by both day right now to push a legend, to push a politician to get people to vote for Joe Biden coming around, you are a shitty ass human being. I'm assuming or you are a shit human being. He means so much about because they already helped them see us the hill, all the best. And yes, like, you know, and just to use his death, to use this hero, this man's death in such a way to the point it's like, well, let's just Let's just not respect anything he stood for. Let's, let's just make a fight. Let's not respect the fact that we found that he was going through all this illness, but still made time to show his fans and to give them movies that he loved and to show kids that he can be pop, that they can be powerful too, and that black people, we can be heroes. You guys understand that? Like, people gotta think about, like, him betraying Black Panther was very important because he wasn't like he was betraying, like, some gangster or some drug addict, bad addiction. No, he was betraying a king, a hero. Some a ruler of his own country, a black country. He's betraying himself as royalty, black royalty. A lot of movies they were always always seen like, oh, it's a drug dealer or the rapper or the or the or the or the uh, athlete or whatever. Like, no, he represented a king. It meant so much more to see one of us doing to be royal because that's what we are, kings. To see us be royal, see us run over this black beautiful nation, the most technology advanced nation in the world. Like you guys get in Marvel comments like. Dukai is the most technologically advanced nation in the world. Like, they're a hundred, a thousand years advanced than the rest of the world. And even if the rest of the world were to catch up, they would be a hundred, a thousand years more advanced, like, further. Like, like that's what he represented. So, to see him just try to use this to promote this, whoever, I don't know who she is, whoever she is, was, like, whoever she is, like, to ask this political general for Joe Biden. Like, come on. Come on. You taste these pieces of garbage. Like, come on, dude. It's not right. It's not right. And it frustrates the fucking hell out of me. God damn. All right. He said, this too, this, was it too soon for drillers to draw support? Yes. They should have never done it, matter of fact. I mean, regardless whether he reported or not, it was not the right time. You have to read a room. Damn. All right. On well, to the next bit of information about this nigga right here. Uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Uh, Son, Son King, alleged online backlash. I release you to post that remote book. I have no idea who this person is. I've never heard of him. Apparently, he's some social justice activist. I don't, I don't know how by what he's doing, but sure, I guess he was some social justice activist. So, social justice activist Son King was human toward to use a devil chat bone to promote his book, sparking major online backlash. The count, the count, the count, the count very white guy. But that's funny. Posted on screens, uh, toward an email from King. Asking his fans about his book, Making the Change. So we're going to uh, take a look at it right here. We're going to take a look at it. So, so I keep using death to sell books. He cleaned it and making money. So I'm tired of this. Actually putting off black, profit off of uh, black death. So we're going to read it. It says, hello, my friend. Hope that you're hanging in there. I say, email the chicken and everybody. Just a few hours later, we'll learn the death of Chad Bowen. Life's so very tragic. Tomorrow is not promised. That is true. Over the six pack year, Chad the Black Lives Matter movement. I've traveled to 40 different states, teaching, orders, learning, and leading, and all six years, where we'll go, people ask, son, how do I use, <laughs> how do I actually use my my life, my skill, my time to enter to impact and change? Oh, God. Uh, my, <laughs> my, just don't wear my, <laughs> bro, it's so bad. He's not even trying to hide it. He's just like, my book, my book, make a change. <laughs> this. This is a 72 page answer to that question, bro. That's oh my god, bro. That's 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 just nasty. That's just nasty. Like, come on, like, that's your answer. Like, it's like, go to the person, like, how can I be a leader and make change just like you can, sir? Well, son, all you gotta do is buy my book, make it. It's 72 pages of me answering that question. Instead of me giving you the knowledge and teaching myself, I want you to buy this book for profit. 
It's a, but it's actually a guy that helps you through set one of you right now. I'm here today to promote a product, bro. How you gonna say that? You just you just said my book, bro. You, I'm here to promote a solution, bro. Whatever. And answer at a time when we just we need kill everything. Oh my god, this book is available by every bookstore in the country online. You, know, you can purchase it online on Amazon here. You can purchase it on your printed black old stores. Oh my god, bro. No. No. No, you can purchase it from so I just want you to have it. At this moment we we wrote for this. We are now over seven star views. I have wow. I hate to say it, but you know this is not for profit for personal gain. I'll make dumb sound, but I paid. I got. I was paid a year ago. I was running the hell even getting the same. It's whatever, dude. You making some money off that? I don't. I won't believe that bullshit. The fact you even put us in there, you're just trying to put us off. No, that is bullshit. I hate the fact I'm not here to sell a product. I'm here to sell a solution. A solution to what? A solution to what? It's like, come on, dude. It's just so tasteless, guys. Oh god, and for someone that's making money, but he sort of sends a lot of email pro money and try to get it. No, come on, dude. Like, we know you trying to make money. Mutant is about life, so the about support by folks by direct giving white, white folks shift power and reels the black donations working in clean. There is doing work for support, but it's matter. And I agree. Oh god, bro. It's like, it's like, I can't, like, it's like so tasteless, dude. So tasteless. All that support. You can do all this leading shit. But you can use one of your own brother's death to support your book. Like, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. He said, another activist called King, 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 email, Granny Torito, Granny Torito. I'm saying he's used to death chat rolling and sell his book and it's, and it's grotesque. Yeah, it is grotesque. It's disgusting. What's wrong with him? What is wrong with you that you keep supporting him? I just don't think he can. That's, this is the big thing I just read. I don't think he can. That's very to stop me anymore. But this one actually shot me. Like, I never heard of this discipline. I never heard of him. But to see him using it like this, I don't think I want to. I don't think I want her. I don't think I want to be his friend. Like any, like it just it, it just makes me so mad to hear that he's that that he's that he's uh doing that. Uh, she's, <laughs> the star in the Butler movie film died at the age of forty three home in Los Angeles pretty bad close for four years. Tomorrow is not promised. Life is so present. That, that is true, man. It just makes me sad. How do I? Oh God, this idiot. So, so, <laughs> so I guess this is a smile. I leave that make a pain. Sells on book nothing. Get paid a year ago to tweet. So, I am asked a pre sale to go out this morning about my book. I updated the email. Also, Mr. Dev Chat Boy. I don't regret it. Oh, nigga, fuck you. Fuck you, bro. Fuck you. That is some BS. That is some BS. Like, like that is some BS. Like, you don't regret it? Like, oh. Like, no. If you want to say something about Trap, you should put that in a separate tweet. You should not have put that in the same, like, pre-scheduled email that you have. Like, bro, like, come on. Whatever, dude. Whatever, man. Like, Sean, we never met. But you're a piece of garbage. I, I, I want you to know that. You're a piece of garbage doing this. You might you might do some really cool things. But for doing this, you are trash. You are trash. Flabby. Like, you, you're garbage. Your poop is good. Like my sister would say, he's a pooper scooper. He's a pooper scooper. Which means you're a pile of garbage. Like, it's just like, come on, man. Really? I, I mass pre emo pre schedule the goal this morning and, and about my book and I updated to email. But like, come on, bro. Like, you can even give him the honor of giving him his own email of addressing it in like a tweet or something. You're going to add it to your pre. Like, bro, whatever. Night like, now. I know it, it's it's just stupid. It just blows my mind that people that people that are like this, you're gonna use somebody's death with this. Like why? For what reason? For what reason would you have to do this? All right, guys. I want to end it out on a more positive note. I want to end it out. Uh, we're gonna be reading Michael Jordan's tribute that he just did to Chadwick Boseman, and uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I just want to. Sorry, that's my cat. I just wanted to read on and try to read on a good note. So this was a truth that he posted. And everybody's been waiting for him to say something. I know. Everybody's been waiting for him to say something. Dude, go the fuck away. He said, one of the last time I tried to Mike Jones, really good. Bowman said they will leave forever. Jordan wrote Instagram on Monday. Jordan will start along Bozeman and Black Panther pending a touching tribute to a late actor who died as father being dosed with cancer and cold cancer until 16. I wish we had more times. I wrote in the post. It was a clue set of photos of the two together. 
Both Bozeman view on as both a superhero on and off screen. He passed left and many, including his co of fans, mourning. <sighs> two two good looking brothers right there, guys. Two good two two good looking brothers right there. He said, uh, I've been trying to find the words, but nothing comes close to I feel. I reflect every moment, every conversation, every last, every disagreement, every every hug, everything. I wish we had more time. When the last time you spoke, you said really forever, and now that's a true meme. Now that that means more to me than ever. Secretly, since the near the beginning of my year, starting with all my children when I was six years old, sixteen years old, you played, you paved the way for me. You showed me how to be a better, you showed me how to be better on a purpose and care and create a legacy. Whether you know or not, I've been watching, learning, constantly learning by your greatness. I wish you had more time. Everything that you gave the world, the legacy, the heroes that you showed us, we are, we live forever. But the thing that hurts the most is I now understand how much a legacy, how much a legend hero you are. Through all, you never lost the sight what you love, most what you care about, your family, your friends, your craft, your spirit. You, you care about the kids, the community, your culture, your humanity. You care about me. You, you are my big brother. And I never got the chance to tell you. Fuck, guys, move. Sorry, guys. I never got the uh, chance to tell you. I was truly give you your flowers, your your fl your flowers while you were here. I wish you had more time. I am more now. I am aware now that I'm 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 more aware now than ever that the time is short where people we love and admire. I'm gonna miss your honesty, your generosity, your sense of humor, your incredible gifts. I'm miss the gifts of sharing the space with you on screen. I'm doing the rest of my life to live what you did with great courage and no regrets. And this is the king. Yes, yes he is. Rest the power, brother. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Got me a little bit emotional, but uh, yeah, I want to try to end on a positive note, guys. Again, rest in peace, with Wakanda. To everybody out there who's trying to use his death for profit for anything, talk about blood, just don't talk about black brand. You just don't, just stop. Just let us have this moment, give us some time, and then we can worry about like Black Panther 2 or whatever. Like, because it, it is what it, they are, they are, I think they're and then they, they are gonna, they are gonna, um, you know, recast them. I hate to say that and it hurts to say that, but uh, that, that's what they're gonna do. But anyway, guys, I want to leave you guys on pause and note. Thank you, man, for joining. This was incredible, man. I can only feel the pain like he had, like, and that's another thing. Like, there was also this other story about the uh, the what's your name that played Scarlet Witch after uh, uh, I forget Zoe, my sister. Do you know the name of the girl who played Scarlet Witch? Yeah, Elizabeth uh, Elizabeth Olsen. Uh, I heard a story today about uh, about how she was uh, booed off Instagram or blew off Instagram or something uh, because of because I guess she didn't write a long paragraph about Shia Bob's death or something like that, or she didn't really cry or anything. And she was booed off Twitter. Look, people, you have to understand. Everybody grieves in their own way. You might be joined. It took him a minute. To build a writers because he was probably sure to stay. They like I I've I've already seen Chad Bowler screen. These people working for years. Chad and Michael Jordan Chad Bowler friends for years. You have to give people time. Everybody agrees different. So just because she didn't write a poem, just because she didn't write a super long paragraph or they didn't cry, doesn't mean she didn't feel lost. Doesn't mean she wasn't sad. Okay. Some people don't want to put their some people don't want to put their privacy out there. Chad Bowler, we didn't know he had cancer until just now. He never told us. So you can't do that. You can't judge somebody like that and not, because you never know what they're really going through. So, no, that's not right. Like, to the is out there, it was like, I don't know what you were going to say. I think they were calling it disgusting or that like she was, like, she looked like a crackhead. I guess she's skinny. Like, what? Like, man, for the people who said that, they were saying the same about Chad Bowman when he, when he, on his last video he ever did. But now we kind of found because he was sick. Fuck you. Who was ever doing that? You disgusting pieces of garbage. Fuck you. Like stop it. Stop it. Come on. Don't 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 use this time to like create to uh to use his death to attack one of his co-stars. Like don't, don't do that. No, be better than that. That's what he would have wanted. It's like no. Instead, we gotta do this. Come on, guys. Come on. Like it, it it's just wrong, and it is and it, it makes me sad that I see people trying to do that. Uh, sorry guys, I know I said I want to try to close a positive note, but that just came to me and I and I wanted to talk about it. So, uh, but yeah, guys, leave her alone. Everybody agrees in their own way. We all 
we all are sad, we all feel pain, just because we don't sew as much as maybe somebody else, that's what maybe we don't. But anyway, guys, this was the first time you ever do something like this, and now I react to, like, music videos and stuff. This is my first time acting, ever acting to something like music, so I'm sorry if it wasn't, if it was, like, weird or anything, or it wasn't my best. I hope you guys were going to enjoy. If you guys want to do, like, more reactions to different news articles and stuff that like, comes out, let me know in the comment section. Also, by liking, subscribing, and sharing, let me know your thoughts down below in the description. If it's Kristen, make sure to, I'll also leave a link to the different articles that I found, but this is our character I'm out. Peace.